I think everything with the ghost is well handled as yes. far as just like visually scaring the fuck out of you. Yeah, um, no, it's a scary movie. I will give it that. Yeah, it, it, it's just interesting the way that you like you watch this and you're like, man, I know some shit's about to go down, but it still goes down. And I I don't think that any of the jump scares are poorly used because kind of the point here is that the ghost is purposefully fucking with them and tormenting them. Um, and that just really helps elevate this in a way. Um, it, it, it just helps it, it helps it feel more genuine because we're so used to movies that have jump scares that are like just there for the audience's benefit and have no effect on the characters. Um, like I'm, this is a weird one to go to, but uh, the first Nicolas Cage Ghost Rider movie, when like Blackheart is like, oh my god, through, yeah, he's like walking through the desert toward the camera, yeah. and then just like randomly his like scary face just pops up as a close yeah. up on film. It's like, <sighs> and it's like that's so that is so just there to get for a cheap reaction from the uh. audience. Nothing is added to any of the characters in the movie for that. Yeah. Um, and it, it, if you think about it, it actually makes things make less sense. Because what, he's just like walking through the desert and then just randomly decides to go. Because <laughs> um, yeah. that's weird. I know, that pissed me off so much when I saw that movie as a kid because I was like so afraid of that. <laughs> I was like, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> yeah. Well, like it's it's just cheap. It's just for the audience. Whereas this, like every jump scare here is for the characters. Like Every time someone is scared by some, every time you're scared by something in this movie, someone else is scared by it too, which helps. 